You're getting like a 10 for one right now. This is boxing. This is the beauty of the sport. This is what makes you a pugilist, okay? <laughs> pretty familiar with me teaching and that's a Philly show right me Eddie Chambers we we got a beautiful Philly show uh, instruction on my website coachanthonyboxing.com where we go ahead and teach the system in full um, got a of great and positive feedback from everybody who's ever purchased that course but this is something that happened pretty recent with uh, Jerron Boots Ennis right he landed a beautiful uppercut off of the shoulder rope and uh, about a year ago you know, unfortunately, my boy Junior Williams from Philadelphia got caught by Jamar Charles. I believe it was Jamar. I think it might have been Jamal. Jamal and Jamal, man. Them guys confuse me, man. But those guys are both excellent fighters. Uh, caught, you know, caught him with the shoulder roll uppercut. And he did a little variation. So I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate what a shoulder roll looks like with the uppercut with Eddie. And then we'll talk about the variation that the Charlo brother did. You know what I mean? And uh, that's about it because... These are just excellent, excellent moves, and you know, big part of the Philly Shell system is the counter punching that you can do off of it. All right, so the first one we'll talk about is Boots. Um, boots is just in the traditional, relaxed state. That right hand king. Now the kid overcommitted to the right hand. Uh, I have the clip in here somewhere, but when he threw that right hand, he fully committed, which put him in position to just come right back with the uppercut. Now, when a fighter fully commits to a right hand, I like that uppercut, especially if they're a tad bit shorter. It's a beautiful combination. We've talked about this numerous times on the channel, so go ahead and demonstrate it. All right, again, and again, again. Good, now, when, when Boots hit him right, he, man, he punched all the way through. Again, again. So don't notice what Eddie does. He just turns the body, rips the punch. Show him from this angle in front of them, directly in front of the camera. He turns the body, and so rips the punch. Now, so that shoulder roll, Eddie can get hit on the top of the head, but look what he did. He rolled under. He ain't gonna touch him. He ain't gonna let him touch him. But you could get hit on the top of the head, but that's why it does. Philly shell system, there's a lot of upper body mechanics that need to be incorporated also, right? So the one hole is the uppercut to the head, I mean the, the, the shot to the top of the head, but you know, we'll talk about that on that video if you guys check that out. But again, he turns the shoulder and now he can easily come back with a straight right hand, but that's not what Boots did. Now, what did Charlo do different? Charlo. The first knockdown, this came from a tremendous uppercut on the inside. Charlo incorporated the catcher's mitt, something that I talked about Previously on another video the catch is there, right? So all Charlo did I'm standing in front of the camera again mm -hmm. facing the camera mm -hmm. when that right hand came That right hand transferred over Okay now when people do the shoulder roll, right? They like to Think that this hand has to always be on this side to protect the hook now demonstrate that real quick That's good. That's cool and all but that's why I said the upper body has to get incorporated for the hook as well. So we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. But what he did was he just incorporated the catcher's mitt. So he went ahead, he incorporated the catcher's mitt. The shot actually got, got added. And the reason you put the catcher's mitt there is just in case your shoulder roll doesn't catch the shot completely. And that's exactly what happened. And that's exactly what happened right there. So look, if Eddie doesn't have the catcher's mitt there, he gets hit with the shot. Catcher's mitt. And then he just came back with the same hand. So what he did was extremely crafty, uh, and it worked exactly the way it's taught. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. And again, again, again. So the only difference is the hand is getting transferred to the other side of the face. Okay. One more time for them to see it. Again, again. So. You can't go wrong with either one. Now, I personally feel more comfortable with the hand here, mm -hmm. just in case the hook comes, right? Mm -hmm. Shoulder roll, hook. But this hand is here to do a few different jobs. The catcher mitt can catch the right hand, catch the hook, 
catch the uppercuts. This hand is here to do another job. And if you see it, if you have good vision and you see that shot nice slide through, it's nothing wrong with bringing that hand there and making sure you have added protection. Make sure you go to the website, coachanthonyboxing.com. Check out the Philly Shell System. We talk about all of this. And check out Defensive Principles 101, man, because it, man, it has everything in there. The angles, the counter punch, the footwork, the zoom sessions. The list goes on and on, guys. If you guys are home right now during these times and you want to educate yourself on boxing, I have a lot, a lot of stuff for you guys. You won't be disappointed. Thank you for your love and support. And please drop a comment. Boxing. Well, guys, it's your boy, Coach Anthony. You guys made a wise decision. Defense is one of the first things that you should learn in boxing. Uh, anybody can throw a punch, but not everybody knows how to defend one. Not everybody knows how to evade one. Not everybody knows how to block one. A lot of the old timers would say that defense is the first thing you should learn when you go into a boxing gym, as opposed to learning how to throw punches. I agree because, you know, without defense, how are you going to protect yourself? We all know that defense is 50% of boxing, and people only train it 25% of the time and wonder why they get hit twice as much, right? It's just simple math. We're going to cover everything from the very beginning, and then we're going to go ahead and build that up. Whether you have a lot of experience, and you just want to go over the fundamentals or whether you're just starting out and you're trying to learn all this stuff you made a very wise decision this is the video for you so without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started